Shalom. I want to give all praise to Yahweh by Hashem Yahusha. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. We want to just go into the topic of us, about us Israelites, which is you so called blacks, Latino, and Native Americans, um, getting the kingdom of heaven. So I'm going to start with this. This is Ecclesiasticus 10 and 8. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yeah, unrighteous dealings from who? You so-called white people, which are the biblical Edomites. The way you dealt with the Lord's people, which is the apple of his eye, you, your kingdom is going down, and our kingdom is on the way up. The kingdom starts with you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American men. Because the most I said, the kingdom of heaven is in us. So right now, what we're doing, we're in, we in the process of bringing, um, building the, um, the um, house of David. We're building the house of David up to elect men, Lord willing, we those men, on um, the 144,000s, along with the one-third. And we're and, and we in the process of um, casting out this kingdom and upholding our kingdom, which is the kingdom of heaven that's going to be on earth. So I'm going to read it again. Because of unrighteous dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Yeah, injuries got by deceit, riches. Y'all came over here, y'all slaughtered the northern tribe, some so-called Latinos, starting with Christopher Colon. Even before that, when we was in um, 70 AD, y'all sacked the temple in Jerusalem. Y'all took all our gold. Y'all took, took everything from us. You know, we discontinued from our heritage. So because of that, the Lord's High is going to set up his people and it's all, it's all through prophecy, though. Next scripture is, this is Daniel 7 and 18. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and ever. It's like, and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Yeah, we're we going to take the kingdom. That's how we're going to get this kingdom. We're going to take it by force. We're going to snatch up your elites. The Most High going to send 200 million missiles over here. To destroy, to destroy um, Babylon the Great, which is Babylon, America, which is known as um, Babylon the Great, the, um, the daughter of Babylon. Um, Idumia, the place where you so-called white people, you Edomites got our people in slavery. We, we oppressed to this day, we oppressed all the day long. We gotta go to work, we gotta pay taxes. So, so we gonna take the kingdom by force. The Most High gonna set up his, his men and we gonna go out through the four corners of the earth and we gonna put you heathens and especially you soak a white people into slavery, okay? Next scripture I got is Psalms 37. I'm gonna start at eight. Cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself any ways to do evil. Verse nine, for evil doers shall be cut off, but those that wait upon the Lord shall inhabit the earth. Yeah, the evil doers, you so-called white people, you're gonna be cut off, along with you other nations, but we talking about you so-called white people, you top elites, you're gonna be cut off forever. Read it again. For evil doers shall, for evil doers shall be cut off. Those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. The ones that's waiting on the Lord is the hopeful elect. You so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, we waiting on the Lord. We waiting on the Lord. We waiting from he said the Lord said wait on me to I rise up to the pray. So that's what we doing. We in a we in the waiting process. We suffering all the day long. We gave up our lives. We made our bodies a living sacrifice so we could so so we could so we could get the kingdom of heaven. The, the we got um, we got the Lord had to suffer so we got to suffer. No servant is greater than his master. So if the Lord went through it, we got to go through it. No. The the uh, and uh, so I'm gonna read it again. And wait upon the Lord. Those that wait upon the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. Yeah, because the scriptures say the meek shall inherit the earth. You know, not the not the proud, the meek, the ones that is lowly in heart. Let me I'm gonna keep going. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yeah, thou shalt diligently consider his place, and it shall not be found. Yeah, we ain't gonna we ain't gonna ever see you so-called white people again. The wicked shall not be, it's gonna be like a dream in the night. But, but verse 11, but the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in abundance of peace. Yeah, because that's our resting place. The kingdom of earth, which, which, the kingdom of earth, which is going to slot you. The kingdom of heaven, which is going to be on earth. That's where, that's where our resting place is. Starting in the land of Israel. That's our homeland. You know, the holy land. But then, you know, we're going we gonna to take over um, the four corners of the earth. We're going to have all parts of the earth. The, the, the fatness of the earth is going to belong to us. We're going to, the, the Lord's, 
statutes and commandments, starting with Yahweh by Shem Yahusha, it's gonna be flowing through Israel, the lowest um, monument on the earth. You know? I'm gonna get another scripture. Matter of fact, it's morning. Yeah, it's morning, it's like it. But the meek shall inherit the earth and shall delight themselves in abundance of, of peace. Verse 12, the wicked, which is you so-called white people, plot up against the just and garnishes, garnishes upon him with his teeth. Yeah, the wicked, y'all plot on us all day long. You know, we, even down to the little things. You go to the doctors, you, you got your kid or whatever, they trying to um, um, put vaccines in your children, you know? You go to work, they, they tax you for every, every, every little dollar you do. You can't make no moves in America without this white man. Um, got his, got his, um, he got his hands in it. He got his hands in everything you do, you know? But you know, with that, I'm gonna say, you know, keep it short, um, shalom, and low willing, it was edifying to the elect.